What's up everyone? Today we're going to go over leak code 1306 jump game 3. Now the input is going to be an array of integers and an index start and the output needs to be boolean true or false whether we can jump to a spot in the array whose value is equal to 0. So first let's define what a jump is. As you can see, a jump is defined as a movement from the index i, either x spots to the left or x spots to the right. So what we need to do is starting index start and try jumping to an index whose value is zero. If we can find even one, then we just return true. And if we can't find any, then we return false. Now, of course, we're not allowed to jump outside of the array. So anytime we're trying to jump out of it, we just return false. So how can we, how can we kind of set a intuition up? Well, what we're trying to do is check, hey, is my starting index actually have a value of zero? If it does, I can just return true. If not, well, maybe I can try jumping to the left and then seeing if that one's equal to zero, or maybe jumping to the right and seeing if that one's equal to zero. Now, if neither of them are equal to zero, then, well, we're at that spot. So let's try jumping to the left again and jumping to the right again. Now, this should remind us of a recursive approach where we do a DFS through this space of the array. And anytime we encounter a value uh, in, the, in, the, in the array, which is zero, we can just bubble true up to the top of the recursive stack. So let's see what a recursive tree for this would look like. OK, cool. So I drew out the decision tree for this problem. Let's see what would happen if we start from 5 and then we try jumping to the left or right and guessing if we can finally reach an index whose value is 0. Let's say we jump to the left. We end up at 3. And then we try jumping to the left again, 3 spots. We end up at 2. And then we try jumping left, to, left by 2 spots. Then we end up out of bounds. Now let's go back to this start. So. 1 to the right, we end up at 2, and 2 to the right, we end up out of bounds again. So this branch and this branch are going to return false. But eventually, we're going to find that, hey, there is a branch, and we can reach a spot whose value is 0. So that's what we want. And even if we find one spot, we can return true for the whole question. Now, we know that we should return true if we find a 0, and we know that we should return false if we got out of bounds. But there might be a little bit of a place if we're not careful. Should we still keep searching if we've found or if we've checked every single spot? And what happens if we're in a cycle? Is it possible where we end up in a cycle where we just go back and forth between two spots or like a series of spots? Well, to prune the tree, what we should do is keep a extra integer which counts how many states we've checked. Now, there really doesn't make sense to check more times down the recursive, recursive stack, the number of times uh, more than the number of spots there are in the uh, array, right? So if we checked every single spot in the array and we haven't found zero, meaning we don't return true, right? We should probably just cut that tree right there and just return false. So in order to do that, we're going to keep a variable uh, count or n or something like that and make sure we return false if the total number of times we visited spots in the array is greater than or equal to the total number of elements in the array. So let's see what the code would look like. OK, so I wrote the code and it's pretty short, but let's still step through it. So we're given an array and a start index and I've taken an extra variable called count, count and I've initialized it to zero and it's going to store the total number of times I've visited a state in my recursive tree. So initially, we just have array start and zero. And once we're in our recursive function, we return false if we're out of bounds, or we've, t we've visited a total number of states, which is greater than or equal to the total number of spots in the array. And we can just return true if we finally found a spot whose value is equal to zero. 
Now, if we didn't have to hit any of these three if statements, then we recursively ask our left jump and right jump, hey, are either of you guys recursively true? If either of them is recursively true, then we can just return true and answer true to the whole question. So that's how you answer LeetCode 1306. Let me know what you think and thanks for watching.